Hello, hello, my good people. Good evening. It's one seventeen in the morning here. And I thought I would jump on here and talk about the word intention. 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 What's going on, Vicar? Um, guys, if you don't mind, as you jump in here, remember this is Wesley Billion Dollar Version. And um, we're going to get rich. We're going to get rich, right? <laughs> Um, put your names below and I'll definitely give you a shout out. We want to talk about intention, okay? Question, does anybody not know what the word intention means? Now, um, this video that I'm that I'm recording here for you, um, this relates to getting what you want. And intention is, is very powerful when it comes to you getting the things that you desire. Torian, what's up? Guys, put your name below. I'll definitely give you a shout out. Amir, what's up, my man? What up? Vic from Miami, Florida. I just got back from Miami, actually. I love Miami. I mean, you know why I love Miami, guys? Uh, and I'm going to be honest because, you know, this is like after dark. This is like Wesley after dark. And Wesley after dark, I'm going to be 100% honest, so don't judge me. Well, I love Miami because I love Latina women. I mean, I just love them. I don't I mean, I'm, I have an affinity for Latin women. If you love Latin women, hit the heart button right now. <laughs> um, I love all women, but especially Latin women in Miami. I mean, you know, that's just, I love them. Uh, Monty, what's going on? Hey, hey, Eve, Marie, what's going on from Detroit, Casey? Um, great evening. Um, you know, it's late here. We just got back from the movies, me and the boys. And um, I thought I would talk about, I want to do two things tonight, okay? Um, I want to answer some of your questions, and I want to talk about intention, okay? I want to share with you how intention is very responsible or is a very important component for you to get what you want, okay? Intention is a very important um, component for you to get what you want. And if you don't understand that, please let me know below. Just say, Wesley, no, I don't understand the word intention, Intention, intention. And um, I'm going to answer a few questions as well. So if you have questions for me, um, uh, feel free to ask me. Remember, folks, uh, I'm a multimillionaire. And I don't say that to brag or boast or to impress you, just to impress upon you that um, you're speaking or you're getting the opportunity to talk to someone, uh, which I believe eventually you will become, but you get to actually conversate with me, okay? Um, you know, a lot of people make fun of me because I have 300,000 plus followers, but yet I have 19 people. But I think it's a blessing for you. Why? Because now it gives you the opportunity to not only speak with me privately, but you now you can now you see and realize that it's not a lot of people that are actually committed to being rich. That makes sense? See, it's always the short percentage. There's a lot of people that want to be rich. There's a lot of people that want to change their lives, make money, um, find a great relationship. But it's it's a very short percentage of people that is actually going to achieve that, okay? So when you, when you see that number there, I'm excited about that because that tells me that out of the 300,000, I have about 20 people who are really committed to changing their lives for the better. And I think change will begin first with your finances, okay? <laughs> I mean, you really, if you change your money, you will change your life in so many ways, okay? So, um, thank you so much, Hayden. I appreciate that. I want everybody, I like that Chris, Christopher, he has a pen and paper out. Now, write this down, folks, um, as you're listening to my voice. And I want you to, you know, right now I'm in my room. It's dark in here. And I wanted to show you the actual word as I give you the definition and how you can use this word and put action behind it so you can start to take control of your life. And by now, you'll understand that you can take total control of your life, but you need a couple of things. You need knowledge, okay? I want everybody to type the word knowledge below. Put the word knowledge below, okay? You need knowledge. Let me show you why you need knowledge before I get into this word intention, because knowledge prepares you for opportunities Knowledge prepares you for situations or things or events that may take place in your life. If you lack knowledge, 
then you're not going to be ready to tackle certain issues or situations in a very intelligent fashion, okay? But the more knowledge that you obtain, it's the reason why I tell you and I share with you and I ask you to consider to watch these type of videos over and over again because you need to absorb the information on a very subconscious level, okay? You got to absorb this information. I give you my website, WesleyVirgin.com, which is a wealth of information and it's a wealth of knowledge. Why? Knowledge is used to be able to perceive your world better than other people, okay? That's a whole other topic, but let me keep this thing focused. Tension is this. <clears throat> Intention is basic, and I want you guys to write this below. Intention is basically getting clear on what you want. Intention is getting clear on what King Boris, Carlos, uh, Sadis is getting clear on what you want. Now, some of you may say, well, Wesley, I'm getting clear on what I want, and I think I do know what I want. I want to be rich. <laughs> Yes, I'm, I'm sure you do. Or I want to be a millionaire. Or I want a husband. I want a wife. I want to be skinny, right? Uh, I want muscles around my body. Well, attention can be a bit complex. And let me tell you why. Um, <clears throat> when you want something, you may say, well, Wesley, I want to be a millionaire. But I don't want to leave, I don't want to leave my job. Wesley, I want to have a great body, but I don't want to work out all the time. Well, that's a conflict. And that's your analytical mind because... The conscious mind is the big problem when we're trying to fulfill our desires, okay? Listen to me closely here. I'm going to drop some gems in here tonight. Um, this is what you're constantly battling with, your conscious and subconscious mind. When you have an intention that you want to do something, at the same time that you consciously, understand this, consciously all of you want to be millionaires. That's why you're listening to Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin. But subconsciously, or um, you're thinking <clears throat> of why or how or the things that you want to do or the things that you will do to achieve that thing. Let me give you an example again. You want to be rich. I want to be rich, but I don't want to take risk. I, I want to be rich, but I don't want to fail. I want to be rich, but I don't want to look bad. I want to be rich, and I don't want it to take too long. So this is contradictory information going on in your mind. So at the same time that you have an intention towards something that's positive, um, <clears throat> it's another type of thinking that's going on in your brain that says, well, I want this, but I'm not willing to do this, or I want this to happen. So you can't, can't, you can't have two types of thoughts opposing each other and expect to get great things. Make sense? Now, another question might be, well, Wesley, how do I uh, work on my intention, right? How do I work on that? So I'm able to manifest certain things. Well, um, once you're clear on what you want, now how do you get clear first? The best way I've learned to get clear about anything is to write it down. Now I know some of you folks, you don't write stuff down. I know, I know what you're thinking. I have it all in my head, Wesley. I know what I want. It's in my brain. Well, you can't trust your brain. You can't trust your mind. Remember that. Because at the same time, that you know what you want, as soon as this video goes off, someone's going to text you, someone's going to email you, someone's going to maybe contact you, you're going to watch TV, you're going to watch a movie, your kid may get up. So if something is going to happen, your dog may lick on your face. I don't know, but something is going to disrupt your attention and you're going to forget everything about that previous intention. Make sense? So writing things down is um, more than because you want to write it down because you want to remember it. Writing things down, when your hand actually writes stuff down, um, it takes a while for you to write anything down, right? But while you're writing, you're actually doing what is called conscious imprinting, okay? So if I write down, okay, say if I'm getting clear, okay, me, my, one of my goals is right now to make $100,000 a day. We're getting very close right now um, because I want to be able to buy me more dream homes around the planet, of course, I want more vehicles. I want to build these things called prosperity schools so I can teach children how to believe in themselves. That's going to cost money. I want to be able to set my parents up, get them a brand new house as well. So this is my intention, right? And I'm also going to be on the Oprah show and all this stuff, right? This is my intention. Now, the question would be, well, how do I make that real? 
Now, this is important. This is why a lot of your intentions are not working out because, um, oops, oops, sorry, guys. Um, the reason why your intention is not manifesting is because saying that you want to be um, become a millionaire is not enough. Okay? And guys, if this makes sense, hit the like button. It just shows me that you're really engaged. Let's go. Um, saying that you want to be rich or saying that you don't want any bills or saying that you want a great business or saying that you're going to be a superstar. Well, that's not enough. See, right now, even if you say right now, all of you say, you know what? I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to be rich. Well, that's just words, right? You don't really feel anything, right? If you do, that feeling is not intense enough for um, the universe to bring that to you, okay? Now, so the question is, well, Wesley, how do we make our intentions real? Then let me show you how to do this on autopilot. Let me show you how to do this to the point that you can feel it immediately. Now, this is what most of the world don't know, but you're going to know here with me tonight. Understand this. We perceive our world. Now, I want you to remember this, young world. Pay close attention to the words that are coming out of my mouth. That we experience our entire world through the five senses. We experience our entire world through our five senses, right? Now think about it for a second. Now right now you're thinking about something. You're watching. You can see the word intention. You can hear my voice. You can hear my amazing sexy voice talking to you, right? Maybe you can smell something that's in your room right now. I don't know. Maybe you smell your upper lip right now. <laughs> um, you can um, touch. You Maybe you're touching your iPhone. You're touching your um, your leg or your chest. Or maybe your hand is on your bed or on your chair. Or maybe on your iPad or laptop. Okay? So this is how you're perceiving your world. Now, the great thing about how this can work as it relates to intention Intention is wanting something or getting clear about something that's not happening in your physical world. So guess what? You can use those five senses. Come on now. Listen. You can use those five senses, okay, to create or to to make your intention real, okay? Because let me share something with you, and I want you to listen very close to me. Once you make the intention real, and when I say it's real... Once you can't tell that it's not happening in your physical world and it feels like it's actually happening, um, it happens immediately, okay? It happens immediately. Um, I can give you guys one of my intentions. Like what I've been meditating on for the last couple of um, days here is making money every minute of the day. I mean, seeing, like, uh, let me give you an example. Like on my phone, I have what is called a Stripe account. And a Stripe is how I do all my transactions for everything that I'm selling around the world, okay? Um, basically, you know, people are taking out their credit card and just buying my stuff because it's good stuff. And what I was doing is my intention was, you know, I said, you know, I want to make money every second of the day. I mean, every day I want to hear my phone ring. And every ring that I hear, see, here is another sale that's been made, another customer that I'm grabbing, another superstar that I'm going to help become a multimillionaire, okay? And I want to be able to see that notification as I hear it happen on my phone. Now, you see what I'm doing here? Okay? So I'm using visual and I'm using um, auditory as well, which is the hearing to make that real. And guess what? Last couple of weeks, oh my God, I've been making money like crazy, like I just launched this program. Like I just launched it 72 hours ago, last week sometime. And I've been making money almost like every minute, every hour, just coming and coming and coming and coming. And why? Because when I heard it, when I had the intention, right, I visualized, I closed my eyes and I saw it happen. And I heard it happen, right? Then it made me feel something. Am I making sense? Understand this. Intention coupled with feeling equals manifestation okay intention coupled with feelings okay you got to feel a certain way when you feel like it's happening then it's going to produce the result that you want that's how easy it is okay am i making sense so far i don't want to go over anybody here am i making perfect sense to you right now okay whenever you have an intention that's you getting clear on what you want 
You have to write it down because just because today you say, I want a million dollars, I want a shelf, I want to travel the world, it may change tomorrow or you may forget about it. Or just saying that I want to fly around the world, just saying that I want to take vacations and just saying that I want a million dollars in my bank account, it's not enough for you to feel anything, okay? You got to be very descriptive, okay? You got to break that down. You got to say, you know what? You know, imagine if you was making $100,000 every single month. What are you doing, right? You got to think about that. What kind of clothes are you wearing? What kind of shoes, stores are you shopping? Are you going to Paris and Milan to shop once a month? Like, are you traveling to Bora Bora as you run across the beaches as the sand goes between your toes, hearing the waves against the rocks, right? With a beautiful young lady to your left or maybe a gorgeous young man to your right. You see what I'm doing here? I'm making it real because, see, it's almost like painting a picture, like an artiste. When an artist paints a picture, well, that picture must be detailed, right? Right? He has to use different colors, shapes, and sizes for that picture to come to life. He just can't throw paint in red and blue on a canvas and say, hey, this is the best picture ever. No, he needs detail. It has to come to life. So when you have an intention, it must come to life using your five senses, okay? The same way that you interpret and perceive your world today, you know, whatever's going on in your world. Some of you guys say, oh, I don't have any money. Some of you guys say I'm broke. Some of you guys say, well, I'm broke, but I'm going to be rich. Some of you say, I'm tired of my job. I'm tired of these people. I'm tired of my girlfriend. I'm tired of my boyfriend. I'm tired of this. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of that, right? So, or you may say, you know what? Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. You, maybe you'll come home and you smell good food and, and all of a sudden you're hungry, right? Or maybe you touch something. Maybe someone touches you on your body and you feel amazing, right? They stimulate something that makes you just feel, oh, loved. Or maybe someone say, hey, I love you, right? So all that, and those are your senses that's helping you perceive your world. But what I'm telling you through intention, by getting clear on the things that you desire or the things that you want a part of your physical realm, you can use the five senses in your brain, in yourself, like right now, you could close your eyes and you could think about the things that you want to happen once you become a millionaire, right? And once you're in that meditation or that visualization, you're actually there, right? You, you can feel it. And you use the five senses. The more of the five senses that you use, write this down. The more of the five senses that you use will increase the intensity of the feeling that will happen in your body, Okay? Let me say it again. The more the five senses that you use when you're thinking about your intention, it would increase the intensity and the feeling in your body. See, that feeling that you feel in your body, let me give you a good um, comparison. I mean, I, I like to talk about sex if you don't mind, okay? Because sex is a good thing. So when you're having sex, if you guys have had sex, if you're too young for that, I apologize for all my youngsters. But if you had sex or if you kissed someone, right, it's a feeling that goes on in your body, right? Maybe goosebumps or maybe just this surge of energy. Understand that energy is vibration. That is communicating something in your world that allows things to come faster. Does that make sense? You ever felt good about something, you know, that you knew was going to happen? And it did, right? I used to say, I know it's going to happen. I can feel it. And all of a sudden, it happened. Now, have you ever felt bad about something? You're like, man, I know this is not going to work out. I'm going to do it anyway. But I know. I can feel it. It is not going to work out. And guess what? You manifested that. So it didn't work out for you. See, then you confirm it with yourself. So you see, I told you it wouldn't work. I said it wouldn't work. And it didn't. Why did I waste my time? Well, it's not that it wouldn't, that it wasn't going to work. You manifested that because you felt that, right? You felt that from your your core of yourself. You felt that from your soul that it wasn't going to work. Am I making sense? Okay? It's powerful stuff, folks. The problem is most of you are not what is called metacognition. Metacognition is a fancy word for the word aware. You're not aware of what you're thinking about. See, thinking, metacognition is... And I, guys, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I just want to get deep into this because I want you to really understand this. 
Metacognition is what's thinking about what you're thinking about. Like right now, you're probably thinking about my voice. You may be thinking about, oh man, Wesley, this makes perfect sense. I'm going to utilize this stuff. Or you may be thinking, why Wesley want to get on camera? Why am I looking at this green thing? Or I, I don't, you know. That's thinking about thinking. Right now, you can be like, oh, my God, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. I got to get up and go to this dumbass job. You know, why things are not working for me. Or you may be thinking that you may be inspired right now. You may, I may have said something that you like. So metacognition is thinking about thinking, okay? Being aware. This is important. Because it's very important for you to always be conscious and aware of what you're thinking about and how you're feeling throughout your day. Now, that's important as it relates to intention because the thing that you intend to have will not come to you, okay, or will not be a part of your world if you don't feel that it will happen or is it happening now, okay? This is why when we talk about intention, and I share with my superstars, you know, especially people that are in my millionaires and training group. I tell them when you visualize, you have to visualize and make the intention real as if it's happening right now. It's like a dream. It's like a daydream. I'm pretty sure all of you have daydreamed before. That's all. Sorry guys. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Sorry. Can you hear me now? Hello. Oh my god, it can't hear me. Oh, sorry. Oh why? Yeah, can you hear me now? How about now? Oh, sorry about that. You know what, guys, I hate holding this phone. You know, I need a camera person. <laughs> Uh, guys, how much did you miss of that? I, I apologize. I'm trying to hold this phone at the same time, sit up in my bed. You know, okay. My body is sore. I, I was boxing today. Whooping that ass. Spanking that ass. But, um, yeah, but let's get back to what we were talking about here. What did I leave off, folks? Can everybody hear me clearly here? Because I don't want you to miss this, okay? Because the word intention is very pos very powerful as it relates to uh, basically, in layman's turn, getting what you want, okay? Uh, remember, let's write this down again. And guys, you know, I know you don't like writing um, below, but let me say this one more time. And please type it below, okay? It's a reason why I want you to type it below, because when you type it, you actually record it, you're absorbing the information faster. Intention is getting clear on what you want. Put that below. Getting clear on what you want. Clear, okay? See the word clear? Clear means that I know exactly what I want. You know what I mean? Some people, when you ask them, what kind of man do you want? He's like, well, I want a man that doesn't cheat. I want a man that's going to trust me, treat me right. I don't want a man. Right? Exactly. That's not clear. You can't say that I don't want a man that doesn't cheat. Because when you say I don't want a man that I want to cheat, that's what you don't want. Okay? Getting clear is only focus on what you do want. Some of you guys may say, well, I don't want to be poor. I don't want to struggle. I don't want to be unhappy. Well, that's, not, that's what you don't want. What do you want? That's what intention is, okay? Intention is getting clear about what you want, what you desire. What type of feeling do you want to have based off the things that you believe that you're going to attract to make those things happen? Am I making sense? <laughs> Alexa, where you been? Where you been? I seen you. You've been working out, young lady. I'm proud of you. Um, okay, so so what I'm going to do at this time, did that make perfect sense? Because what I want to do is I want to ask the questions about um, intention, amount of connection, visual, whatever. You know, whatever question that you have, it's late here, but 
I want to take some time for you because I want you to make some things happen. I mean, great things have happened to me in my life. I am so, I mean, swear to God, man, I'm like the happiest I've ever been. You know what I mean? I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. You know what's so funny? I'm not even in a relationship and I'm happy. I mean, see if I find a woman of my dreams, I guess I'd be even more happy as well. But I mean, to be honest, folks, I'm in the best place of my life. And this is the reason why I have so much energy to do these videos for you and to share this knowledge because um, I want you to feel happy, right? I want you to understand that you can really detach yourself from money. When I say detach yourself from money or any other thing, understanding that you don't need money and things to make you happy. And I know it appears that you do. You may say, no, Wes, I do need that Ferrari. I do need the Lamborghini. I do need that Chanel purse to make me happy. I do need the car. I need the girl, whatever. But you really don't. And once you understand that, once you understand that you do not need any physical things, anything outside of you, I don't care if it's a woman, a man, a thing, a Ferrari, a car, a house, or a job to make you happy, Everything that you want will come very quickly, okay? I swear to God, everything that you want will come very quickly here. All right, next question. First question here. Let me just scroll down here um, and ask the question. And guys, remember, you can always jump in my bio. Um, you know how we do it. Jump in the bio. The bio has a very, I talk about the seven millionaire hacks. Many of you have already clicked that link and got started with me. And that's amazing because, and let me share something with you, folks. Um, those seven millionaire hacks were the same information that I gave a private group that was paying me $1,000 per month, okay? And these people wasn't rich at all. They were thousandaires just like yourself. They were making thousands of dollars per month, right? And they, today, after those seven millionaire hacks that I'm giving you for free in my bio right now, um, they are all making at least seven figures, if not six figures a year. Okay. Every one of them. And I'm giving to you free. And then you may say, well, Wesley, why would you give this type of information for free? Why would you allow me right now to go in your bio, to click the link and get this information for free? Why? Because I love you. Okay. Because I love you. And let me share something with you. I don't have to know you to love you. Some of you guys I know personally. Some of you I've never met. But I don't need to know you to love you, man. You're a human being. You're a man or a woman. Right? You cry just like me. You laugh just like me. You have blood going through your body just like me as well. I love you because of who you are. And I love you because you're listening. I love you because you're chasing for your dream. You're trying to get clarity about your life. All right. First question. Questions, please. If you don't mind, go ahead and type these questions again. If you want to tag a couple of people, you can go ahead and do that as well. And remember, Ariella is always in the group. My girl, Ariella, killing it. Um, she's a blessing from God, so you can hit her up, and she will get you started in the Millionaires and Training Program if you decide to do that too. Okay, question. Hold up. Let me scroll down here. Um, let me see. Hold on. What, what do we got here? Any questions? I know we have some questions here. I know someone has questions because why wouldn't you want to ask someone to have what you want a question? Folks, you know, when I went to, um, when I went to um, the Billionaire's Island, a Billionaire's Row, man, I, I talked to Billionaires for hours. I swear to God, I, I talked to this one guy for hours. I wanted to pick his brain, man. I just wanted to learn, you know. I just wanted to have a conversation with him and. I appreciate that conversation that he took time with me. And now, um, you know, it's a people because serving people leads to greatness. I said, whoa, I've heard that before. And my man, I'm using it. Okay. Cecil, 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 how old were you when you started to work on your business? Oh, my first business was, I think I was 21 years old. And I was 21 years old and I was failing like crazy, man. I was making no money. But that's when I had the first thought. You know, believe it or not, folks, when I was 18, 19 years old, I thought I was going to climb the corporate ladder. I swear to God. I thought I was going to work for the rest of my life. I was making $7 an hour. Then I got a promotion. I was making $11 an hour. And I thought I was on top of the world. And I, I mean, also, I thought I was going to work a job for the rest of my life. I, I used to work like 10 hours a day. Can anybody relate? I mean, I would work for somebody. I, I did some insane things trying to make other people money that was insane thinking about it now makes me want to vomit actually in my mouth right now 
that I was actually using all my skill, all my intelligence, all my abilities, right, you know, with somebody else. <laughs> that's insane, right? So, yeah, that's when I started. Okay, any more questions? Hold on, let me scroll down here. Um, guys, if you don't mind, post the, post the questions again. What did you ask the billionaires? Um, you know, that's a good question. So, basically, man, I just asked them about, you know, what they, what they do for a living, their companies. And I say, well, tell me about your company. And when you tend just to ask people those type of questions, they just talk and talk and talk. And I say, well, what made you get into that industry? And you just tell me, talk and talk and talk. I say, man, so how did you, you know, what what do you do to keep the motivation? Keep going? I mean, you're a billionaire, right? So what makes you just keep wanting to do what you're doing today? And he just talked to me. And what I was trying to absorb was his mindset. He just thought differently, man. Um, but a lot of the principles were the same. But... Um, you know, billionaires, man, they are fearless. They are really fearless people, and they don't give a damn, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. Billionaires, they don't give a damn, okay? And I'm not saying they don't like people and they're mean to people. But they don't give a damn what other people say about them. They don't even care. They don't care about nothing. It's It'll blow your mind. I mean, they don't really care. They would do the things that are insane that you, like, <laughs> you know, some people... When they post pictures online, they're trying to get the best picture. I do it, too. You know, I want to get the best picture, the best filter, the best angle, you know, whatever. These guys, they don't give a fuck. They just do whatever they want. They can they, they can look crazy, and they will post the picture. They will do that, right? Um, and that's why they succeed faster, because they're not thinking about what other people are thinking about. <laughs> that's what I learned from building it. They don't, they're not thinking. I mean, even from approaching a, a woman... You know how some men, they always thinking about what a girl's thinking about before they approach you. Oh, what is she going to say yes? She's going to say no. She's going to reject me. Maybe I'm too small, too short, too... Thin. Well, they don't think like that. they just like, I'm just going to do it because I don't care what that person thinks. You know what I mean? I'm just going to do it and see the response, and I'm going to react that way, okay? And that's the type of thing that I have as well. You know, I just do things. That's why sometimes when I curse, when I say, you know, shut the fuck up, you know, whatever, you know, some of you guys might not like this. So what? Leave the video. All right, I'd rather do the thing because I feel comfortable and I apologize later if I need to apologize. But I'm not thinking about what other people are thinking. And that's what the billionaire told me. He said, Wesley, don't think about when you want to do something to somebody or whatever. Just do it because that what you feel, that's what your gut tells you. Stop thinking about how other people are going to feel about something because that's going to stunt your growth. Okay. All right, question here. Um, I'm a... I'm such a black pearl. And you know what, honey? You are a black pearl. You're beautiful, actually. Okay, what are your values that help you press toward the wealth you've created for yourself today? The values, huh? Um, hmm, that's a good question. What are my values that press, that kept me going? I don't know. You know, to be honest with you, um, I'm such a black pearl. I, I just, I love a challenge. And I just refuse to be average. I swear to God. And you know what? To be average just makes me want to vomit in my mouth. I swear to God. I know this sounds crazy, but I don't want to be like everybody else. Like, I don't want to work a nine to five job and get up in the morning, go to a place I don't want to go, drive in traffic, get upset. I, I just, and I got to rush. I, you know, you know, guys, I, I, mean, I work a lot, but I'm a lazy guy, man. You know, when I say lazy, it's like, I just want to relax in life. I just want to go to the spa. Like, to be honest with you, I just want to go to the spa every week. I want women, you know, like, rubbing my body around with oil and, uh, giving me facials, getting my hair cut, you know, shampooing my on the beach, sun on my beautiful dark skin body. I mean, that's that's what I want. So to answer your question, I you know, I'm just I don't want to be average, you know what I mean? Never. No, I don't want to be average. I just I just can't to me that's boring. I don't know, it's sickening to do what everybody else did. Like it's sickening to like fly coach. It's sickening to be in a two star hotel when five stars are obviously available. It's just sickening to me to, um, you know, I, I don't know, you know, not to have the best. Like, my bed vibrates. It's comfortable. I got one of the most comfortable beds on the planet. I think so. It reclines, it vibrates, and it makes me comfortable. It makes me feel good. A lot of people say, well, it's like, you're in your 30s, but you look like you're in your 20s. It's because I live a very comfortable, relaxed life. So, if my values, I just didn't want to be average. Because I think average is a very terrible, stressful life. It sucks. Okay. All right, next question here. Um, let me see here. Are you going to have another seminar this summer? Chris, um, very soon, very soon. You know, a lot of people, um, a lot of you guys, and I appreciate that, 
have been asking about the seminar. Let me share something. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming in a big way. And all of you are going to be invited. All of you are going to get the chance to experience me. And the great thing about it, it's not just me talking or motivating you. I want to shake your hands. I want to hug you. I want to look you in your face and say, you know what? I believe in you. You're a winner. I love you. I appreciate you. I want to help you. I want to have dinners with you. I'm going to do all this stuff, okay? But, you know, right now, man, I'm just getting ready for that. I'm, I'm preparing myself, mind, body, and soul to be able to um, take people's lives to another level. So keep looking. I keep following, and I would definitely um, let you know. How did you get 300000 on your page? Um, fashion Deluxe. By giving value, I'm going to be honest with you, giving value, and um, I pay for shout-outs as well. When I say I pay for shout-outs, um, I may give some good content to a another person that has a lot of followers, and or maybe I have another person that has a lot of followers that follow me, and they post something on their page about me and say, man, listen to this young black brother from Houston, Texas, and I get a lot of followers like that. They had me with the shade room a couple of times couple of people so you know you just never know who's out there listening that's what i'm saying even when you have two thousand followers or maybe twenty thousand followers just keep giving good value that's what i'm doing just keep trying to increase people's quality of life um before i go on do you guys want me to give you the purpose of life or the key to life <laughs> the purpose of life does anybody know what that is okay chico do you have an intern uh, opportunities um. Well, if you can sell, absolutely. Contact Ariella. She'll take care of you. Just contact Ariella. She'll hook you up. Do you use a military mentality still? Nope. Um, to be honest with you, the military was not for me. I appreciate all the training, but I'm a rebellious young man. Okay, let me tell you something about me, okay? I'm hard-headed. Um, I want to do what I want to do. I don't want anyone telling me what I should do. I'm stubborn. Um, and those are great attributes for an entrepreneur. <laughs> this is why I got fired so many times. You know what I mean? So the military was not for me because I did not want people telling me what to do. I don't know about you, but I don't want anyone telling me what I should do with my life. Okay? Next question. How can we feel energetic seven days a week? Sometimes we think about pending bills and other stuff. So how do I overcome that? Well... The problem with you, pardon me, with bills, like, how many of you guys, you know, <clears throat> you think positive sometimes, and all of a sudden, you got those bills, it's called reality, right? <laughs> you may say, Wesley, I can think rich all I want, but I still got to pay this light bill, the card note, this, this, this. Well, what I do, and what I used to do, is reframe things, okay? So, instead of thinking about your bills as something that you got to pay, or something that you don't have money for, just, like, if you can't pay it, just don't pay it, Okay? Like a credit card bill, if you can't pay it, just don't pay it. I mean, I'm serious. Now, this knowledge that I'm giving you is unconventional because no one will believe me. But check this out. When I had a lot of credit cards, like if I couldn't pay it, I just wouldn't pay it. Because the worst thing they can do as it relates to credit card bills is to screw up your credit score. But who cares about a credit score? Because when you have cash, when you make a million dollars, then you don't need credit, okay? Or you can fix your credit within a year, okay? That's what I did. I'm going to be honest with you. It was many credit cards I didn't pay. The only thing I kept on was my lights, and I kept a roof over my head and paid the card. That's about it. Everything else, if I if I had the money, I would pay it. If not, it's cool. So the thing is, when you think about the big problem, when they think about debt, a lot of you, when you use the word debt, you feel bad, right? Now, the world has made you feel this way. You've been conditioned this way because the world or media has uh, define debt as a negative thing like oh you're in debt oh you're in debt ten thousand twenty thousand credit card school loan let me share something with you why is that such a bad thing okay think about it why is being in debt such a bad thing tell me you being in debt today are you bleeding i mean are you hurting like physically is your body hurting by being in debt no well you're creating that pain based off what someone told you like the money that you owe, first of all, what can you do about it? Okay, if you can't do nothing about it, why would you keep thinking about it and how bad it is? You're creating that frustration. You're creating that pain, that emotional pain, okay, yourself. Like when I think about bills, I don't even care about bills, to be honest with you. Like even I'm rich right now, sometimes I forget to pay my cable bill. I'm no lie to you. I haven't paid my cable bill. This is a swear to God truth. I haven't paid my cable bill in three months because I just forgot. 
And like, who cares? Why right? they call me? And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna call you guys back later. Cause I'm busy, right? Like I'm working on my dream. I don't have time to put on my credit card and pay a bill. I just don't have, I don't have time. I'm working on like a hundred thousand dollars a day. You don't have time for a bill that's 500 bucks. Like if they turn it off, then I just call them and turn it back on. See what I do? So it's not a big deal. See, see what I mean? it's not, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's cable, right? So you got, you got your Netflix, you got this, you got your gym membership bill. I mean, I don't know. A lot of these bills are irrelevant. Who cares about them, right? But the problem is, for me, it's how you're perceiving and how you're allowing these bills to make you feel, right? If you say, I'm thinking about paying bills and other stuck stuff. Like, what does that mean, stuck stuff? First of all, nothing's stuck, man. Look at your language patterns, you know what I mean? Like, pending bills is just a pending bill. You either pay it or you don't, period, okay? Try to keep the lights on, but if you have to burn candles, burn candles. Who cares? It's not a big deal. You're not going to die. See, the problem is you're around people that's going to make you feel bad. Like, if, like if somebody comes to your house, there's no lights, they're going to be like, hey, man, you're not responsible with your money. Man, bro, you can't even keep a job. You know, people used to tell me that. You can't keep a job. You can't pay your bills. You're not responsible with money. Now, if I listened to all that junk, then I wouldn't be a rich man I am today. Okay, because people only dealing with they're only perceiving their life and they're trying to put that shit on you. Right. I mean, me, I'm going for my dream. Fuck the bills. I got a dream. So I spend the money on the dream. I did. I used to do it all the time. I mean, I'm serious. I mean, <laughs> it's a lot of things that I did not pay because um, I had to pay money towards the dream. All right. That's what makes us very different as millionaires. But understand this regulatory normal people. Yep, I said the word regulatory. Regular people, they don't believe this. They say, no, 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 you got to be financially responsible as far as um, you got to make sure you pay all your bills on time. Why? I'm a millionaire. I don't pay my bills on time. I pay them when I fucking want to. Excuse my language, but I do. I pay them when I want to. Some of them on autopilot. Some I got to pay. Some I just remember and I'm like, all right, I just pay it. I mean, it's not a big deal. Doesn't make sense. Like, I'm not dying. Even if they turn my cable off, I'm not dying. Right? If they turn my lights off, I'm not dying. I mean, it's not even a big deal. Say if I miss a car note. So what? Okay, they'll call you enough in this time. I mean, just pay them when, I mean, it's just not a big, what I'm saying, it's not a big deal. Like credit cards, it's not a big deal. Don't feel bad because you have this huge credit card debt. Don't feel bad because you got this huge amount of school debt, Right? They want you to feel debt. You know what? They, let me share something with you. You know why the media wants you to feel bad about debt? It's because they want you to pay it, duh. They want you to take your focus off your dreaming on debt. First of all, if you died and you still have the debt, who's going to pay it? Who cares who pays it? They can't do nothing to you but stop, ruin your credit. But who cares? You can fix credit. And when you have cash, you don't need credit, okay? Next thing. Uh, let me see. Great mindset. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I love you. Hello. Um, Amber, how are you, sweetheart? Um, do you make more more March when with, I think you mean money, with dropshipping or sending the products from home? Um, I don't do dropshipping, actually. Um, all I do today is I sell digital products, okay? Digital. Can everybody, can everybody type the word digital products? Let me tell you why digital products are great because uh, digital products... Um, the only cost is just time, okay? So it's no actual, it's no actual physical product, okay? That's why I made millions of dollars. I made millions of dollars off an ebook. Isn't that crazy? Like it took me about an hour to write the ebook, and I made million dollars. I mean, <laughs> it was like no cost. That is like five hundred return on investment. I just paid for the website cost. That's about it, okay? Product was free because I created it with my genius skills, okay? So yes, I don't do drop shipping. I don't send products at home, but I do have a supplement company as well that Ariella um, is pretty much the spearhead of, which is um, killing it. Ariella, we're going to make so much money. Jesus Christ. What are we going to do? I don't know. We're going to party in Mexico. All right. Here we go. Um, next question for me. How do I start a marijuana stock? I have no idea. I'll see God. Next question. I'm going to be honest with you guys, guys. If I don't. Like if I don't know your the answer to the question, I have no idea. I don't smoke marijuana. Um, one thing about me, I don't do drugs. I'm sorry, guys. I don't drink a lot either. I don't do drugs. I just think the temple, you should preserve it, which is your body, duh, your brain and your body. So, and I expect to live a very long time, at least a thousand years, because I believe the world needs me here. Okay, a lot of people, they do need me, seriously. Even if people think they don't need me, you need me too, trust me. 
And so I, I, I do my best to take care of my temple um, 24 hours a day. Any more questions for me? Come on, guys. Don't go to sleep on me. Go sleep. Remember, remember, we don't sleep until we make our first milli. Okay? No sleep. Sleep when you die. I mean, you can sleep when you die. Uh, any more questions for me? Come on. Questions. Okay, here we go. I love that CEO. Here we go. Um, how did you get Fat Diminisher to number one on ClickBank? Facebook ads, affiliates, paid traffic. Affiliates, my man. So what I did, I was very strategic with Fat Diminisher. So the great thing about me was, uh, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn, toot, toot, but what I did was I made a lot of friends in the industry for several years which means I knew a lot of people, even though I wasn't successful. But I met a lot of people that liked me. Right? They liked my energy. They liked that I was always positive. Like, Because my goal was this. you know, I didn't have all the money. I didn't have all the knowledge. But what I could do, I can control my emotions. So when people would see me, I was like always motivated. <laughs> and always like, dedicated. Like That motivated, dedicated thing, that really worked out for me. Like me being motivated. Because I, I mean, I know millionaires that are not motivated. I mean, seriously, they're not. I mean, I'm not saying that they're unhappy, but they're just not motivated. They have no energy. So people love my energy. You know, everybody just loved my energy, even though I wasn't making any money. So once I launched the program, I just hit them up and say, hey, man, I got a number one product. You must mail for it. And a lot of people, they really wanted me to, to succeed because they just really appreciated the enthusiasm, even though I was broke as a joke. It's nothing like having zero dollars in your bank account and being enthusiastic like you know i really was i was like motivated dedicated last guy every day it was insane right and i really believe that okay how did i do that? that was my intention my intention was to always be enthusiastic for the rest of my life right so since that's my intention that's why when you guys see me in the morning i'm driving to the gym i'm like let's go motivate that right you know it's just normal for me it's just like i don't have to try to do this this is like normal living just like you. Some of you guys wake up upset, angry. You know, I don't know. But I'm always grateful. I'm always filled with joy about life. And that makes me feel emotion. It makes me feel so good. It makes me feel orgasmic. It's almost better than sex. Okay, not that good. But it's close to it, okay? Next question. Wes, can you talk about thoughts and actions? Okay. Thoughts versus actions. What do you mean specifically, okay? So that's a good question, but I want to know. What is that, a virus? Oh, okay. Okay, Um. so thoughts. Oh, guys, my, my um power is dying. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to cut this video a little short here. But, okay, thoughts versus action. So, I don't really understand your question. I mean, thoughts are the things that you think about, right? Actions are the things that you actually do, right? The things that you actually do that are stem from thoughts. Um... So how do I get money like you? Oh, that's easy, blue face. Go to my bio right now, click the link, and grab the free information, and you'll see seven videos that yours truly made for you. And um, that's how you start the journey. Just got to take action. A lot of people always ask me this question. So how do I get money like you, Wesley? How do I make money like you? How can I be like you? I, I, you got to take action, folks. You know what I mean? You got to just do something. I mean, in my bio, look up there. The 100K per day formula. It's there. It's like, you know, it's like, it's like, it's almost like this. It's almost like me coming home and it's $100,000 on the table. And I'm like, hey, man, where's the $100,000? Um, it's right there in front of your face. It's right there. What do you mean? You mean, where's the 100 Well, how do I get it? Um, go grab it and pick it up. I mean, so, I mean, it's right in the pile, folks. I mean, it's there. I mean, I don't know what else do I need to do to show you how it works, okay? I mean, it's in the bio. You just click the link and get the information and start listening and start learning. I mean, that's that's all you have to do. Take action, okay? Of the great books that you that have changed your life. Secrets of a Millionaire Mind, Think and Grow Rich, Richest Man of Babylon, um, Breaking the Habits of Being Yourself. And you can always go to wesleyvirgin.com slash books. You'll see every book I've ever read that have dramatically changed my life for the better, okay? Go to wesleyvirgin.com, all of you. And guys, if you don't mind, please tag and share this so I don't have to keep repeating myself over and over and over again. Tag people so people will know so we can move on from this stuff, okay? How did you feel when you when the money first um, came in? Were you like, holy shit? Of course I was, 
Mazzy? I mean, wouldn't you be a holy shit if you made a million dollars? If your account was zero and you made a million? I mean, of course. I was jumping all around. I was jumping on that air mattress. And the next day, I bought me a brand new bed. Then the following day, I bought me a brand new G-Wagon. I mean, what do you mean? Y'all was excited. You have no idea. I mean, man, I was just... I can't even, Now, that was almost... You know, was that better than sex? Mm, let me think. Okay, maybe. Maybe that was better than sex. I swear to God. I mean, what well, depends on who you're having sex with. I guess if it was Halle Berry versus a million bucks, mm, probably have to go with Halle Berry. I love her. But <laughs> honestly, folks, um, it felt amazing, okay? It felt so good. I mean, it felt so good to have a million dollars in my bank account and see seven figures and to be able just to go places and just swipe their credit card at malls and you know i, I went to paris and it felt so good to spend five thousand dollars at the club for no reason i still remember going to new york and all my friends you know we went to this club and the tab was twenty thousand dollars and who cares? We just paid the money and left. It, it was just it was great to be able to do that, right? Other people were like twenty thousand dollars. It's insane, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know, you know, and it's great going to the club sometime, not all the time, and just like, you know, getting a table for no reason, spending six thousand dollars with other people. Um, they they have to come together, bring all their cars together. You ever guys you ever went to the club and everybody got a pitch in? With their credit cards, <laughs> you know, to pay for one bottle. That's insane. I don't know. I'm a boss. So a boss takes care of everything. Like if I say, hey, let's go out. I'm going to take care of everything. It's all good. Right? I'm not going to do this whole split shit. That's that's insane. Okay? It's either I'm going to take care of or you. If you're not, just sit down and relax and let daddy take care of it. Okay? And who is daddy? Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin. Amber, what is the what is the biggest dream in your life that, that came true? I'm uh, making a million dollars. <laughs> Yeah, I'm serious. Making a man making a million dollars. I'm serious. Coming a millionaire. Uh, that was the biggest one. That really was. Guys, I'm going to have to let you go. I love you so much. Wes, are you are you ever reluctant to post esoteric information? How do you gauge that in your marketing? Oh, never reluctant. Um, a lot of the information that I post is very esoteric. Even this video may be a bit esoteric, which means is I know how to speak in a way to make you do things or maybe to influence you in a very positive way as you think about your left arm as i'm speaking to you right now you're clicking in my bio and getting information that is called the seven millionaire hacks that's going to lead you to a better life i just did it so no man i give you guys everything i swear to god everything but i have more information guys that's why i tell you guys to jump in my program if you haven't clicked the link in the bio um you're just dumb i don't know i just think you are dumb i don't mean to be derogatory but um, I, I'm a multi-million. I'm giving you the information for free, right? That information is free. I sell a, I sell a lot of stuff, but I give a lot of stuff for free. WesleyVirgin.com has over 30 hours of videos for free. Okay, find another website that does that. And I talk more about the mindset stuff because this is the most important as it relates to recondition your mind. Okay. Um, what is the biggest dream in your life? The king. Okay, Hold on. you're amazing. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to let you go. I love you. Can I say that, if you don't mind, please? I want you guys to look at this right now. I'm sorry I can't look at you in your eyes, but look at the screen. And I want you to listen to my voice. I love you. I really do. I love you so much. I love you that you haven't given up on your dream. I love you that you're still fighting. I love it that you're still encouraged. I love you that you refuse to be average. I love you that you just keep fighting, even though you're in a struggle right now. That I love you that you keep going. I love you that you are lying. I love you that you are so amazing. I love you so much. I want you to know that I really do love you because check this out. It's a lot of people that would give up. You have no, like 99% of people will give up because it's tough. It's hard. So I love you for that. I love you. I care about you. I'm always going to be here for you until I leave this planet. I will help you become rich if you keep listening to me. Watch this video again. You should listen to the video once again about intention much love this is wesley billion dollar virgin go to the bio right now much love i love you lighter lighter